today I wanted to introduce you to your IIS or integrated irrigation system. Uh, this is composed of probably four hose sections, the same number as systems of gardens you have in your garden, um, with quick connect connections, a hand sprayer, and then your water source. Uh, we keep them in these five gallon buckets usually, just for ease of transportation. So let's come in closer and take a look at these pieces. So here's a close up of the, the water source. We've connected all four of our hoses. Um, again, this is your hose splitter right here, and these are your hoses coming off. The quick connect works very simply. Um, there's always two pieces. Every garden is set up a little bit differently, but you have this end piece, which feeds into this end piece. Um, moving back to your hose splitter, if this switch right here is perpendicular to the direction of water flow, that is off. If you turn it parallel, uh, now it's open and the water can flow. It's nice to set all of this up and then connect to all of your beds and then come back once everything is set up to turn your water on. All right, here we are connecting to our last hose system, the last garden bed. You can see it's the same equipment, the quick connect right here. We're just gonna push that in really strongly to make sure there's a good connection or else the water will not flow. Remember while you're doing this that each section of hose is cut to the specific length to reach from your water source over to your garden bed. And once everything is well connected, we can go ahead and turn this on and check and see if it's running correctly. Okay, so our system is set up now. All beds are connected. I've gone around and checked all of the lines to make sure there are no leaks. Uh, if you do find any problems, any leaks, any lines that are not dripping, please contact your local garden educator. Uh, we'd love to come out and help you troubleshoot that. So let's take a look and see how this actually works in the garden. Your drip irrigation system uh, will have holes throughout the tubes. Um, you can see right here it's dripping at a consistent rate. And although the surface of the soil is not going to be completely wet, just imagine this water kind of coning out and spreading out throughout the soil below the surface. Having said that, if you did just plant your garden with seeds, this system may not be your most effective system for watering. You're, you're going to need to water by hand along the surface to coat that entire area where there are seeds with water to keep them moist until they do germinate. Um, but looking around right now, hands free, the garden's getting watered. I've got some time to go throw a frisbee or hang out. Um, we check things, uh, other things in the garden, um, but things are working well. You should expect to want to water your garden for about 20 minutes. And uh, if you see water coming out the bottom of the beds, that means they're full. Uh, you don't need to water anymore, uh, just for weather and if it's, if it's rained recently. But things are looking good, so uh, you can kick back for a minute. All right guys, so garden's watered. You're gonna disconnect the system. First thing I wanna do is turn the water source off. Then I'm gonna disconnect all my hoses. You can expect some water to drain out of those, so it's nice to let those hoses drain before you put them away when you wanna put the hoses away. Uh, coil them into the bucket rather than making a coil and then putting it in the bucket. This will save you a lot of time. It's relatively easy and we'll set the next person up for an easy removal of these when they want to water. At this point I think you should be all set. Uh, you can usually fit about two hoses in here by the way, but uh, let us know if you have any more questions. Happy watering. We'll be in touch.